Have you ever hit a five point in your life? <laughs> Sorry. That was even sick. Bitch. That was sick, that was my cut me, bro. That was hard. Yo, but you still using that gun. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the first installment of The High Low. My name is Mohammed. And it's Gap, and it's a monthly review show covering the highs and lows of all the BBL action. So Gap, there's been a lot of traction towards the BBL this year. No, a lot, man. And it's due to a lot of storylines coming up over the summertime. Mm -hmm. Obviously one of the biggest ones being the London City Royals coming to fruition. The Midnight Madness <laughs> City Royals team coming to fruition, but not. <laughs> Why'd you call them that? Midnight Madness team, well, look at the squad. <laughs> Literally, um, I believe all of them have played at Midnight Madness at some stage. Well, not all of them. The main guys have all played yeah. at Midnight Madness, yeah. So now that there's two teams in London, it's very exciting. But what I want to ask you is, who are you rooting for? The Royals or the Lions? It's a good one. You know. It's a very good question. It's a very I'm good not question. Gonna answer. You're not going to answer no, that. You can, I have to answer this one. Yeah. I will pick a side now. Yeah, thanks. Nah, that's cool, man. But now, who am I rooting for? Definitely. Ah, I don't even know, you know. I don't even know who I'm rooting for. It's just interesting to see two teams in London, that competition aspect. Definitely been rooting for the Lions for a while now, from before City Royals came in. But I'm excited so for does the that mean you're, Does that mean you're rooting for the Lions? Can I just root for London? He's scared to Can say who he wants to root for. Like, He's scared. Just say it, man. For London? Why not just say it? You just said you were rooting for Lions for a long time. True. So why would that change? True. It would change. Have you seen the squad that Royals are bringing in? Have you seen the record? The Lions have. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm rooting for them, I don't root for any of them, but there's less respect. No one's really talking about them much. So, Gat, London City Royals, how did you think the first couple games went? Oh, we're coming into the league making big statements, big signings, and they came straight into the league with the game making big wins and big statements again. So, Defo. Defo. Yes, Bristol Flyers holding a nice victory against them. It was a close game as well. It was a close, close game. game, very close game, but it took care of business yeah, and, then, and the next game was at home against Surrey bringing Another basketball close game. straight back to Crystal Palace by yes. the way basketball back in London and to get the victory on the W on that game it was, was an amazing nice. atmosphere it was an amazing atmosphere I was actually there and then they went on the road to Manchester where they took care of business there yeah, also well. and then you know they went they went Newcastle, Newcastle. and there still hasn't been a culprit found for this crime that we have witnessed. Um, unfortunately, lost. Losing to Newcastle isn't a big deal. Nah, Newcastle are, are 5 0. They're probably one of the best teams in the league. They are one of the best teams in the league. Four time MVP on their team as well. They have won the championship, I think, seven times. Seven times yeah. So, like, they're a good team. Losing by 50, though. There's not really much of an excuse. That's not really acceptable. Yeah, it is. It's but, I mean, what we have to remember about the Royals is that. All these teams, Leicester, the Lions, Cheshire, all Newcastle, the teams, all the teams, all but the, teams. the better teams, yeah, yeah, yeah. they've been together for years yeah. and more or less the nucleus has been the same. So in terms of the Royals, they're new. They're new in the terms of a new team, but new player, team, wise, player wise, they've been together over a period of time. Not, not, not an actual team yeah, though, maybe in a summer team. tournament or not an actual team for a whole year where they're trying to win a championship. So as a team, they're still trying to find out who they are. They don't know who they are yet. So losing to Newcastle is not a big deal. But you shouldn't lose by 50. That's a whole other story. And then they played Leicester. That game was very close. That was a close. Went to overtime. Leicester had a few highlights. A few? More than a few, man. Okay, they had, they had, they had highlights. Highlights. <laughs> and um, Cheshire as well. They lost to them also, which they shouldn't have. Watching a game, I thought they were going to win. You know, but they didn't, is what it is. Towards the end of the game, it got very heated. Um, one Cheshire player spat on our VCD shop. Didn't know Rondo was in the UK for a while. Where he signed, but he did it before, right? Yeah, he did. That happened before. before. Happened yeah, before yeah. the Chris Paul Rondo thing. before the Rondo thing. So we had yeah. our own spit gate over here before. Crazy. Yeah, man. Cheshire, I've uh, spending him for a game. That's a good thing to do, but it should come from the league. Should come from the league itself, facts. isn't it? Facts, man. Should facts. come from the league itself. Maybe something, maybe pending from the league. You never know. I hope so. You know, I think so. Because if if that if that doesn't happen, mm. it's just sending out a message saying, okay, fine, you can spit at someone and get yeah. away with it. You could do for that. one game suspension. Yeah, for only one game one suspension. Game. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's not good at all, man. So, 
another big storyline outside of the Royals entering the BBL mm -hmm. is the Leicester Riders entering the BCL. Yeah, so a good look for British basketball. It's been about 10 years since we've been in there, back in 2008 with Guildford Heat. Wow, it was a good look and then bounced right out straight away. So yeah, it's games just like that. Now they're in um, the FIBA Europe Cup. FIBA Europe Cup, yeah, they played recently played in that game. Right, played right. last night, yeah, against uh, Falco Volcano. Oh, yeah, Falco Volcano. We have to work on his pronunciation. Yeah, probably. facts. Right, yeah, right. But they lost there too, but before that game, they did play at home, the first BBL game, against the Royals, mm -hmm. which we spoke about previously. Yeah. And it was a very. It was a very really intense game for them first time back, but they didn't get a W, so... Overtime W, so it was a good game for them, you know. Oh, that's on Matthew as well, isn't it? Woo! That nice. That's a big boy. He, he's right. good though, I don't know his name. Kiefer, yeah, Kiefer. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! That's a mad fuck. That's nuts, he's a god as well, alright? Because he's small, he's not small like that. Hey, that's a clear little pin as well. The Matthew went up soft on that though, man. This guy was clutch though. Andy Thompson. Yeah, he was clutch this game. He's been clutch his whole career with the Riders, to be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. He was Ooh. eating dagger after dagger after dagger with these guys. Even the free throws as well, you know. Take care, that's fine. Yeah, that's what made them go overtime is free throws. Yeah. That even overtime is clutch? Even overtime Damn. as well. Shit, hold on, two guys. Have you ever had five points in your career before? Right, I've hit one, whether or not I got accredited five points for it, that's another story, bro. Yeah, so man. did you manage to catch the British Basketball All-Stars? Yeah, I caught the highlights this year. Yeah. Um, last year I went to it, mm -hmm. that was the first ever time it even occurred, so this is the second year running. Yeah, now, yeah. So. So good luck for British basketball. Bro. Yeah, it was it very good. good. And they got Sky Sports involved this year too. Live on Sky Sports. Yo, British basketball live on Sky Sports on TV. Ridiculous. Yeah. Like, it looks like legit. <laughs> legit, <laughs> legit. On people's TV. I saw it over Instagram stories. Yeah. And they get paid if they don't win. If they don't win. They don't win. If you don't win. If you have, if you go on their website, it says no wins get you 5K. That's like officially. It ranges from 5K to 25K. If you win the whole thing, you get 25K. So that means sorry Scorchers were awarded £25,000 and I think Jordan Williams should get a little chunk of that because he was hooping and he got MVP too congrats to him, he deserved it and I think that's going to help Surrey because before the tournament they were playing kind of trash but after it, they gained confidence and they got some wins too yeah, they picked up their first win off yeah, straight after they needed it man, let's go for them so, you're last game, correct? yes or no? yeah so, seeing as we're close to a certain date, your skin must be tingling, right? It's a rematch of the light skins. The battle of the light skins, B. The battle of the light skins, yeah. You the know? Bull Brothers are back in town. Yes. The Bull Brothers and Lavar. And Lavar. The light skin. <laughs> and there's Vince, Jordan, Lavar's and Justin. Twin. Lavar's twin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about Lavar's twin as and well. And PO2. PO2 as well. Battle of the light skins, oh. man. <laughs> Jordan. You said that already? Yes, yeah, Jordan. Yeah, yeah. Jordan. Right. Justin. It's literally the battle of the last yeah, game. Legit, yeah, facts, facts. Jordan and Justin. So, and no. November 3rd, are you excited about the game? I'm definitely well, excited. The revenge yeah, match. The revenge match. Revenge match. Revenge match. Revenge match. They got, they got, got the lines were spanked. So, yeah, spanked. another combined 83 points combined. To be fair, apparently they did, they did play a lot of games before, like, in a row before that game. That's true. Now, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, a good long schedule build, yeah. build up. Yeah, the whole yeah. there was a lot of games. Oh, a lot of that games. Excuse, but I mean, you can't be getting spat by an eighteen and a sixteen year old. That's grown man. I hope they win this time. Cause when I watched it, yeah. like I had friends on my team, but that was embarrassing oh, to watch. Like watching kids. Why is it like an exhibition game as well? Like okay. an all star game. No, I'm not saying that's why I played. It ran like an all star game. Oh, like, regardless, though, even an all star game in the last quarter is serious. Yeah. If you're trying to win, yeah. but. Watching that, it wasn't the greatest thing. That always a talented yeah. muscle, bro. Yeah. Is everyone talks about him, but the kids got yeah. talent. Yeah. But yeah, I'm really excited about the game. Mm -hmm. I hope London win, though. Yeah, but it's a whole new team, so the Ball Brothers aren't back, but they're back with the JBA. The JBA, All -Stars exactly, now, so, yeah. exactly, exactly. Whereas last year, I think Lions were more of an even match with it being a club, but it's an All Star team. But Lions are going to be calm because the JBA don't play defense. <laughs> so. They don't believe us in the gym. That's just our whole team of not kids, but 
kids. Plus all JV team and John were in Boston. It was an experience team. Yeah. Like 18 to 20. Yeah, 18 to 20. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no defense. Well, I mean, so what do you think the score's going to be in this one? What are we saying? Way over plus 150. I say 120 will be the highest score. Cool. Because I see the Lions putting people on cramps. Like, that's true. That there are a lot. There are a lot. There are a lot better this year yeah. as well. So a lot like, better. I've seen them winning. I see them clamping down. Mm. Nah, I don't know, man. I don't know. As you said, the athletic aspect of it, though, as well. As much as JBA team are young and kids and everything, and they're playing an experienced team in the Lions, yeah. but that is a big advantage for them. Their athleticism. Nah, I still see them putting clamps. No. I still see Lions putting on clamps. Mm. Yeah. You're November third, isn't it? Yeah, November third. We wanna find out, man. Yeah. You're a snake, though, because you're from London. You're trying to back down for the gym. Yeah. <laughs> I see you, B. He's trying to get a triple B yeah, I'm to jumper. Get, like, I see you, B. Them jello, the Jellos, they should be coming out. That's actually one thing to look at as well. You shoes. Know, the shoes coming over here as well. Shoes are nice, man. Because, well, well mm, not the ZO2s. Not the ZO2s. They were just Kobe's yeah. that he put his name on. Even now, the new ones, they're just basically PG1 with a bit chunkier, but. <laughs> they just need some innovative designs up in Big Boiler Brand Industries, B. That he's just stealing from Nike. It's ridiculous, man. <laughs> This is the high low top five plays of the month. Who would be your player of the month? Player of the month? We've seen a lot of action and a lot of moves, but Ramon Fletcher. Mm -hmm. That's my pick for player of the month. Run out of Newcastle. Run out of Newcastle, yeah. Two time league MVP. And over two games, recent two games, 29 assists. That's ridiculous, right? Over two games. Nah. I would have picked Matthew Ryan Manning because he was doing dumb numbers. I'm going play the week. Back twice. to back. Yeah, back to week. In the All Star five of the week yeah, when they're yeah. doing the BBL. But I mean, they dropped off, so yeah, that's my guy. Ron Fletcher, play of the month. Moses will get that rebound. Oh, nice little play from Victor Moses. Oh, showcase. Swings at the Fletcher, who manages to keep the ball. One assist for Fletcher already straight in there. And away comes Drew Lasker. He gives it to Fletcher. Fletcher on the pass to Moses. Fletcher comes away with it. Takes it past Josh, takes it past Sean Sheldon, he dishes it off again, another two points. Oh, that was lovely ball movement there. That wraps up the first installment of the High Low. My name is Mohammed, this is Gat. I could introduce myself, bro. Right. This is not an introduction. I can outroduce myself. That is not a word. Bye, guys. It's <laughs> not a word. I don't use that in school, kids. Outroduce is not a word. Wrapped up first episode. I hope you guys like to take care. That's been Gat See, and Moe. Goodbye. It's Gat and Moe. I can, I can outroduce myself. Uh, yes. Oh, so you're using the word now? My name is Mohammed. Okay.